Alright, what's up y'all? It's Doris the Wink. And today we got a new video on DC Legend Kurt Bond. So let's start from the top. He's from Washington, DC, of course. Y'all know I do a lot of uh, videos on DC Legends and just DC period. So anyway, he's from Langston Terrace, that's in Northeast. Started hustling at like the age of 12, I believe. This is all from uh, me watching videos and documentation. So he said he had started hustling at the age of 12, around like, I think he said like 1981. It started with like weed, then it went to PCP, which is boot, uh, and then coke too. And uh, his family, okay, so basically he was, he wasn't poor, but I mean, he was poor, but he wasn't like poor, poor. His family was there like doing better than the uh, other families that was around. So, oh, my bad, y'all. All right, so he started uh, doing business with Rachel Edmond because I believe some dude that was in Rachel Edmond's school was rolling with Rachel, uh, ended up getting like kicked out of a high school and transferred to his high school. Some uh, stuff happened, little fights, they ended up uh, meeting up, and then he started uh, basically buying drugs from Rachel and was like a independent contractor. If you watch the uh, Blair TV interview, I think that's what he called it. But like I said, it's he said in a bunch of his uh, interviews. So, um, and in that time, he also had some dealings with uh, Alpo when he came down from like New York was messing with the girl Karen and got put on with uh, Kurt Bone. And I think he had some type of dealing with Rachel. I'm not sure, but as far as Kurt Bone, he was dealing with uh, Rachel and Alpo because even Ace the Christ uh, had said it, had said, uh, what did he say? Did Kurt Bone uh, introduce Ears and Dre to Alpo? I believe that's how it goes. Okay, so anyways, then um, let's see, around like 1989, when Rafael and all that, uh, Rafael and all them got locked up, or when Rafael got locked up and that whole case happened, he was on that case. He ended up uh, pleading to like conspiracy. And you know he didn't get like the big the big bad charges or whatever. So I think he did like conspiracy, and uh, ended up doing like fifty one months instead of doing that thirty five to life. So that's good. Um, yeah, yeah, money laundering and all that. So so okay, so they wanted him for conspiracy, but he ended up taking like a plea to money laundering and doing the fifty one months like that. Uh, see, let me show y'all. I'm not sure if this is let's see. I'm not sure if this is the um his actual picture from being locked up. Oh no, nah, this was in twenty thirteen. Uh but uh yeah, I did actually see a video of uh when he was locked up or whatever. It's actually on his page, y'all can go check it out at Kurt Bone T V. <clears throat> and uh let's see, what else? So um jail wasn't like too hard for him, he had said that. Um, I believe that then he ended up getting out, and then he came up or came out with all days gear, which is a clothing line that he has. Let me show y'all. He also some more about Kurt Bone. He was also known for throwing parties in the city, so it wasn't too hard for him to get people to like buy clothes because he was already known. And I'm so glad because I'm definitely gonna cop some of this. I'm gonna try to. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna try to actually get in contact with him. I don't know if he might see this or not, but I do want to try like. He already did interviews. I just want to get like a blog in or maybe cop some clothes and do a review or something like that. So, uh, shout out to you. Yeah, like I said, it said right there, 1998. Uh, yeah, this look good. Like, all this stuff look good. Like, I seen him wearing this, uh, in a video. I was like, damn, that don't look good. Especially with the A. Y'all know my name start with an A. Got the joggers, $60. And it looked like it's good material. By the way, I got some merch coming on the way to y'all, so look out for that. But, uh, yeah, um, like I said, here goes Langston Terrace. I'm not sure if I uh, actually showed y'all, but this is Langston Terrace. Comment below if you want me to do a little video driving around there. Y'all know I'm always in the Northeast. Langston Terrace. Like, this is real back in the day right here. Um, so, yeah, that's nice and terrible. Dwelling. Don't that sound terrible, y'all? Like, just the word dwellings. My bad, in case I was in a way. See, here go older pictures, too. I'm not sure what year this is, but you can tell it's older just based on the cars. And it's in black and white. 
but uh what else um yeah so he did the all day clothing in uh 98 uh like i said he was throwing the parties uh yeah and basically he used his drug money to get out the game he used his drug money to create the clothing line and actually like have legit money you know clean money or whatever which is good because you know you know you already got caught once you know what i'm saying or you was already in the jail once so you don't want to go back plus the clothing line is good you can get all types of people to wear here in dc we got a lot of a lot of um good little clothing lines like all days madness um the museum eat designer don't matter so you know we're doing it when it comes to the clothes plus uh, if y'all didn't know dc is basically like best dressed period i'm gonna say dmv but you know dc is basically always best dressed anyways um he did a dvd before too i forgot what we're on but he also did say that uh right now he's currently doing let me open this up right now he's currently doing some black tv interviews and it's crazy because look y'all know i'll have all my notes and stuff I've been, uh, I've been had uh wrote some stuff down to do a video on him, but shit, since I seen him doing the Vlad TV interviews, I was like, shit, I'm gonna, might as well. Why not? Already wrote it down. Why wait till later? So uh, yeah, shout out to Kurt Bone. Shout out to All Days Clothing. I'm definitely gonna give me some of that. Maybe we can link up or do a little something. Um, and yeah, that's Kurt Bone, y'all. Another DC legend. Uh, I told y'all about Ace Price and Dre in another video. Um, and we got some more to come. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm gone.